you guys. Uh, for those of you ghost hunters out there who can't afford the DR, the Panasonic DR60, this is the Panasonic QR240. Um, I think you can get them on eBay now anywhere. I think it's around two or three hundred dollars, which is a lot more affordable than the DR60, which I've seen for like three thousand. 1000s even like way overdoing it anyway um this has the same capability as far as the voice uh recording so you can put it on you can put it on like transcription mode which is like it won't record unless it hears a sound or voice so that's the setting that everybody uses for the dr60 and uh, it works really well. The problem, when you lose the battery, you're always losing the time and the date, which is not a huge deal unless you're really funny about wanting to keep track of, of knowing the date and time uh, on this thing. So you have to kind of set it up every time you change batteries. So... I found this way to hack it a little bit and I'm now able to recharge this. Yes, you can buy rechargeable AAA batteries for it, but this is actually hooked up to a small um, battery bank by Atom Tech and I think it's a 3000 milliamp battery. Um, covered up the specs on the there there it is anyway I saw this and it was literally the same size as this recorder so what I did um, before I set my time so with this recorder as soon as you open the back of this to get into the battery it will it will stop even if there's batteries in there so what I've done this particular cord which I'm gonna have to look up is the USB cord that you want and what it is one battery one side is a dummy and the other one actually powers it so this is the dummy battery and this is the one that actually powers it. So this is how you can put this in here. And it thinks it has two AAA batteries in it. Which it kind of does. But um, what I've done is put this little... I have made a tiny hole in the side. So that it allows this wire to come out. Where I can actually close the back of this. Let's see if I can do it without there we go see now now it's closed and it's I can get it almost flush not quite um, it doesn't have to be totally flush you could I could have made the hole a little for me that's that's good enough it's gonna stay on on there I could tweak it a little bit later. I just didn't want to do anything that would hurt this. So anyway, um, now that that's on, you see it's working and it just needs to be reset. So what I did also is I put Velcro on the back and on here so that I can have them together they're like virtually the same same size and this way my ports are in the back here and I can when the battery starts getting low all I gotta do is I is just charge it up just put in the uh, I think that's 
Yeah, it's still the micro USB. Oh, wait, that does have a... What? Is that a USB-C? Oh, my. Wow. But I think one of those charges and one doesn't. I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, I just thought you somebody might find this um, a good idea for them. I hate being out on the field and having to run out of battery and, um, you know, having to open up the back and then having to reset everything. Well, see, now I can reset the time and stuff, and it should be fine as long as I don't open the back and I'm just charging up the little battery bank. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, leave me a message in the comments if you have any questions. Sorry, it's so long. All right, take care. Bye.